My name is Dr. Zenas Yu, and I'm an NIHR Doctoral Research Fellow in Dermatology at the University of Manchester. I am the lead author on this study, looking at the risk of serious infection associated with infliximab in the treatment of psoriasis that was published in the British Journal of Dermatology. So why did we do this study? We know that infliximab, a tumor necrosis factor inhibitor, is very effective for the treatment of severe psoriasis. However, many doctors and patients have concerns over whether infliximab is associated with a high risk of serious infection that lead to significant consequences, for example, inpatient hospital admissions. Although randomized controlled trials are very useful in telling us how well a drug works, they're not large enough to look for rare outcomes like serious infections. We therefore needed to perform a study to answer this concern outside of the trial setting. How did we do it? We used data from the British Association of Dermatologists Biologic Interventions Register, or BADBIR. This is a national registry of patients with psoriasis in the United Kingdom and the Republic of Ireland that was set up to investigate the long-term safety of biologic therapies. Within BADBIR, we looked for participants with plaque psoriasis starting on infliximab and compared them to participants starting on non-biologic systemic therapies. Our definition for serious infection were infections that led to or prolonged a hospital admission, needed the use of intravenous antimicrobial therapy, or led to death. After identifying participants who suffered from a serious infection during follow-up, we calculated the incidence rate of serious infection in the two cohorts. We then performed regression analysis using a COX model and adjusted for demographic, lifestyle and disease factors that may have been potential confounders. So what were our main findings? We found 422 participants who had started infliximab and 3,421 participants who had started a non-biologic systemic therapy. We calculated an incidence rate for serious infection of 47.8 per 1,000 person years in the infliximab cohort and 14.2 per 1,000 person years in the non-biologic cohort. In the regression analysis, we found a hazard ratio of 1.95 when we compared the infliximab cohort with the non-biologic cohort. Why is this study relevant to dermatologists and their patients treated with biologic therapies? This study provides information from real-world evidence for clinicians and patients with psoriasis and adds to what we already know about infliximab from the trial setting. Patients should therefore be counseled on the increased risk of serious infection before infliximab is prescribed in a shared decision-making process.